What's up, y'all? I'm Black Talent Sport, and in today's video, just going to be doing a review of the level 10 transmission that I have. Uh, level 10 calls it the bulletproof transmission. Figured I'd finally do a review of this transmission. Oh, but first, I want to remind you guys to please continue to smash that like button, subscribe, hit that notification bell, make sure it's on all so that you get notified for when I come out with these videos. I greatly appreciate it. All right, so um, I got this transmission from Level 10. Um, of course, after Premier Ford blew my transmission. I put almost coming up on 30,000 miles. I had it um, installed somewhere around the 204,000 mile mark, and I just crossed over uh, 230,000. So it's uh, just about due for its first service, which I'm going to get done once I actually cross over that 30K mark, which is coming up soon. Uh, but you know, but this video is probably going to be a little bit of uh, controversial. Um, mostly because, you know, for whatever reason, Level 10 has come under fire. And also with this particular platform, the Explorers, uh, there's some controversial around, co controversy around uh, transmissions, up, tra transmission upgrades and so forth. Or what's considered an upgrade for uh, Explorers. A um, little bit of background, you know, I found, I first found out about Level 10 many years ago man i'm talking about early like in the 90s basically i was an apprentice at a speed shop here in brooklyn and pretty much all the fast supers had level 10 transmissions that's how i found out about them that's the experience that i've had with them you know uh you know those cars were fast and i i, I remember distinctively how they used to chirp tires when they took off so that's how i found out about level 10 transmissions and and pat as well so when i got my explorer and um i was in need of a transmission i called up pat we spoke you know he did mention to me you know um you know what what things what goes into his transmissions for the explorer um but you know if you everybody knows if you look up upgraded parts for this this particular transmission there isn't much available other than stock parts. Um, so it begs to differ what is it that Level 10 is putting in this transmission. But, you know, again, at the time when I had spoke to him, I had not discovered all the controversy. Um, but he had explained to me that he changes the clutches. You know, he mentioned that uh, he puts in a bullet, a billet uh, torque converter, which spiked my interest. Uh, he mentioned that he upgrades the uh, the cooling system as well. I didn't bother asking the specifics of what those items are and where do you get them from, so forth and so on. So by the time I got bullet back now, I was told that it can handle up to um, up to 700 horsepower, which was cool. I'll probably never get that that much power. I'm not looking to go that far for uh, this transmission, but. Um, that far of a power power number i'm actually okay if i can get up to 600 500 is perfect but six was nice seven is not it's beyond without my usage um so basically you know there's a lot of controversy about what's in what what is in this particular transmission is it that just a stock transmission that level 10 is just selling as an upgrade you know I can only go based off of uh, yeah what's available, what's not available, and what I was told. But most importantly, of anything else, forget the specifics. What's most important is how this particular transmission behaves versus the stock one. This here is very important for me. Yeah, if it has stock parts in it, then it doesn't behave like a stock transmission, uh, which could allude to the tuning. But I'm going to get into that. Uh, very specifically in a little bit this level 10 transmission definitely does not feel like the stock one it doesn't behave like the stock one uh most notable it definitely grabs um harder like it, it shifts harder more firm shifts 
Um, and it, it basically, you know, it, it's taking whatever I throw at it. Now, on the tuning side, I'm gearhead tuned. I have a gearhead tune, right? Now, gearhead has, you know, the performance tune and also the tune on the transmission side. Most noticeable after I got the tune from Gearhead, I noticed that the uh, the shifts were firmer and faster, amongst other things. But in terms of the transmission, how the transmission shift, it was a de it definitely shifted a lot firmer, more firm. You had definitely more firm shifts. When I got the car back from level ten, almost immediately I noted that. The car was shifting even more harder. Like it, when it when it changed gears, it would it would jerk. It, boom! Like, oh, all right, okay. You know, I'm saying like, all oh, all right, I could definitely tell the difference there. But then I started to notice there was a tune difference. Now the the gearhead tune is encrypted, so no one should be able to tamper with it. But uh, I guess you know, I, I I guess level ten may have some sort of master key or something. Because I, when I was explaining this to Brooklyn Motors, that the tune, gearhead tune is encrypted and no one should be able to tamper with it, but I can clearly tell there was a couple of things that I was able to notice. The transmission wasn't shifting as fast as it used to. That's one. And then the um, the kickdowns, it was like two kickdowns instead of one. Like if I'm driving normal and then I step on it, it would kick down gears twice instead of once, like it always did on the gearhead tune. You know, it would go, if I just stepped on it, it would go, rrr, rrr. like it would kick down that first one, rrr. but then it would kick down again. I didn't, I, I didn't like that. Um, so it wasn't shifting, even if I was drive, even in manual mode, it wasn't shifting as fast. It kind of went back to how fast it, or how slow it used to shift when it was stuck. You press the lever, and then it would be like a slight delay, and then the gear would change. I'm like, well, I didn't do that on the gearhead tune. And also, I noticed um, that it went back to bogging in third. Like, if I was getting on the gas, and when I got up to third gear, it would bog down. It was like the computer was cutting back on power. It used to do that whenever well, when I wasn't tuned. But after I got tuned, that bogging went away. Was now all of a sudden it came back. I mean, I could still tell the gearhead tune was there, but all of a sudden it just like some of the stock characteristics came back, which was like I said, the, this shifting speed and bogging in third. So basically, um, what I did was I said, All right, and the Brooklyn Motors advised as well, well, why don't you just flash the gearhead tune back on the car? All right, so I did that. I, I eventually, I mean, I drove on it for quite some time, like maybe like 9,000 miles on the tune from um, from level 10, about 9,000 miles, literally, just to kind of decide if I wanted to stick with that or just, you know, reflash it. When I reflashed it, the shifts got even more violent. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Already, it was pretty, you know, I got pretty firm shifts, but when I, Flash the gearhead tune back on it. So the combination of the gearhead tune and this level 10 transmission, yo, the ships got bananas. Definitely gonna need that transmission mount now. Um, so I got my quick shifting back and the firm, the ships, the ships got even firmer. Um, but then something else happened. Remember, I told you I had that weird bogging down. Now it doesn't bog. But the, the third gear just kind of, and it's third and fifth, but third gear just, it, it, it sounds like, like if I was driving a manual transmission, you push the clutch in and then you, you know, you come off the clutch and get, get on the gas. It sounds like I'm still on the clutch while I'm on the gas. So it was a weird problem. So I, I contacted Gearhead again and told him the situation. You know, they, they told me to do a cam reset. It was still there. Um, they sent me a new file, downloaded it. It got better in terms of third gear wasn't as, it didn't sound like it was hesitating, hesitating as much, but it's still there. And then I discovered that it's there in fifth as well. Like there's a, 
you know, it, it's just a weird way of shifting. But other than that, I'm telling you, man, like, I don't know how many people actually have this transmission from level 10, but I had it. So I can tell you the difference between the stock one and, and this one. It's night and day. There's a night and day difference. Um, will it handle the abuse of a, of a drag racing scenario? I don't know. I don't really drag race. Sometimes I think about it, but I'm not really set up for that. And this is my only vehicle. There's no way that I'm going to drag race with this thing. I mean, I do have some fun, with some vehicles, so forth and so on, but that's about it. This, this transmission definitely does not behave the same way that the stock one does. Um, rather, if they have stock parts to this or not, uh, I'm willing to doubt that, but I don't know. I don't know. You know, I, I don't know. I, I don't know. What matters to me is the performance of it. That's what I was concerned about. Um, what I consider this transmission to be a, a stock replacement as an OEM, everything, nothing upgraded. I can't, I can't, I can't agree to that. That's just my opinion. I cannot, um, because it doesn't, it doesn't behave the same way. Um, is it all in, in the tune? Um, I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so. It doesn't feel that way. The tune that 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 that, that level ten put on it was good. The uh, gearhead tune is better. Um, so this transmission just doesn't behave like stock. Would I recommend that someone get it? Against everyone else's recommendation, absolutely, I would. Uh, if you if you have done some upgrades, you know, you want you want firmer shifts, um, you have a tune, and you wanna you wanna take the you wanna um capitalize on your tune for getting you know a firmer shift, um, stronger transmission. I I would say it is, you know, I have yet to have uh, experience issues with this transmission that I, I've experienced with the stock one, and particularly when going up hills. You know, the stock tune and the transmission used to bog and shake when going up hills if I was going up a hill at low speed. On um, both the uh, tune from level 10 and gearhead, that does not happen anymore. You know, there is no bogging, it doesn't lug the engine up the hill. It, instead, it will build, it will build boost, and you know, give me power up the hill. So, I can attest that this is a, a definitely a great option for explorers. Why? Not because of what others have said or what you know people have done, but because you know, I, now that I have experienced almost thirty thousand miles with it, I would definitely recommend. I would, I would definitely recommend um, this transmission. Uh, I'm not so sure about for someone that's looking to to push to, to be like drag racing and so forth and so on. I, I, don't, I don't know, because I don't do that kind of thing. And I don't know nobody that drag races and actually has this level 10 transmission. Well, all right, well, that's gonna wrap up this video. I wanna thank you guys for watching. Please continue to stay tuned to the channel. Make your video suggestions in the comments below. All right, so please remember to have a blessed day and peace out.